Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. This is gonna be the start of a series of videos that I call A Day in the Life of a Farm Girl. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see how it goes. Today I am spending a lot of my time cleaning. Over time, this front area of the milking parlor starts to get really dusty and gross. These railings, they are now very shiny, but they were very gross and dusty. And I have yet to clean the basement. That's kind of soaking right now. But yeah, lots of flies over the summer create a huge mess. Like, these are some windows that I haven't gotten to yet. They're pretty gross and dirty. Like, this is just caked on fly crap. So that's something that I just gotta work on every now and then. And because this wall here is in front of the milking parlor, sometimes a cow will slip or just, you know, slide out a foot into a cow pat and it'll go all over the wall. So it's nice to get this cleaned up every once in a while. Makes it just look so much better. But right now, what I wanna do is clean the milkers. I've already done up top here. And I've actually cleaned that side of the milking parlor already. So I'll just show you what that looks like now that it is all clean, shiny. And this is just a bit of staining down here. I'm also slowly working on that. There's a foaming acid soap that I use to slowly work away at that. So every uh, once in a while, I'll also throw that on there. And then I also try to keep this cement wall somewhat clean up until the down alley, because you can see where the poop starts to cake again. But yeah, this just it's just so much nicer to work in a clean parlor. But so you guys can see what that looks like now that it's been cleaned. This is what it looks like before I pressure wash it. So decently dirty, but I put the foam wash on there and it just melts right through the manure and it makes it a very easy and relaxing cleaning job. This is kind of what the cement looks like before I get to it. This side I did two weeks ago, so it's not horrendous, but I'm still gonna clean it. Usually it looks a bit more like this. Yeah, all these railings were also really nasty and dirty and now they're nice and clean. I always have to do a little bit of a cleanup because there's usually a bunch of miscellaneous items that end up on these windowsills. I don't even know what half of this stuff is for. Screw. Oh, that's for a pressure washer hose. These are for little electrical caps. So, yep, usually gotta do a sweep to make sure all this stuff gets cleaned up.
So here you've got a little before. They just end up really shiny. I still have to take the milker off and switch it around because the other side is still dirty. But this is what they look like. And then this is what they look like before. And you can see the solvent works really well. Like I just have to rub it with my finger and it already starts to come off. So really happy with using that product. Yeah, helps to keep the parlor clean and shiny and beautiful, honestly. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> it's not time to eat yet. You have to wait a couple hours. Yeah, you guys are funny. They're also so sweet. So funny. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, we're gonna chew. You try to chew. here by the goats again sorry it's a bit windy today just wanted to show you Leo is finally this guy that's Bane this is Pepper he's finally in with the rest of the herd of bucks because he tested negative for CAE and Yonis which is awesome so he was in quarantine for a little while because at a certain age, they're just not old enough to test yet. So I had to wait for a little while. And so he was old enough. I got him tested at the end of August and I got the test results back. So, yeah. What are we doing, ma'am? <laughs> we are giving Fertiline to cows for offsuit program. And what does Fertiline do? I don't know either. <laughs> It's a hormone that brings them into cycle and it releases eggs from the ovaries. Eggs from the ovaries. So we obviously know exactly what we're doing <laughs> and why. <laughs> is helping to look for the cow because I am so slow with recognizing if it's the right cow or not. Nice. Oh. <laughs> All right, nice. This is our little lady. So we normally don't bed up these calf rooms with straw, but since we are expanding, they are pretty much completely open to wind and damp and breeze, which can make them a little bit sick. We've had to needle a couple already. So 
we are giving them straw so that they can bed down deep and just stay warm when they're sleeping because otherwise we typically just have the shavings and we have that because it's usually climate controlled but since it's not this is why we're using straw right ma'am yeah. <laughs> Did I explain that correctly?